Let's knead our paste. A little bit of treks on your hands. So we're going to jump straight in. Got lots to get through. Put that little dude in the corner. It's just nice for me to see. Um, it's good for you to print out a picture, like print off one of the pictures you've seen, a large one of him, and have it next to you when you make it, or have the template sheet right next to you as well. Just always, always give yourself a reference. It's going to make your life a lot easier. Okay? So you really want to mix the paste up, and this is the body. You have every bit of confidence in me. Thanks. Thanks, Sharon. Okay, so we're going to mix it up. Okay? And then you really want to get this into a ball. Now, it's actually quite hard because it's massive, but the way you do it is almost like it's bread. Can you see? And I'm, what I'm doing is trying to create all the creases at the bottom, really. As long as this is all right, I'm happy. So you can even get the creases out a bit more that way. The creases can be at the bottom happily. Like I say, it's actually really hard. I mean, you could use the table, but to get them out, it's quite difficult with this size ball. So, release the pressure a bit. Get nice ballish shape. Please ask me questions as you go. Oh, Linda, that's nice to know that you've learned those. I love that. Let's, let's see if I can teach you a lot more today then. So, we've got a nice ball. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting the neck in just here, okay? So, I'm going to use the palm of my hands and I'm just going to elongate that bit there. I'll do it that way to show you better. Okay? That's just for the neck so it can go down like this. Then what we're going to do is work on the body shape, which is this one here. Okay? So we want to bring the tail up. So what I would do is literally Pinch yourself, thinking the best way to show you, you know, because I just go and do these things and then I realise. Okay, so you can pinch yourself, that's the top, a bit of the tail. And then use the palm of your hand to get a bit of your point like that, okay? Now you can make this longer. I just wanted to put nice tail in first so you bring it up from here and you can make it longer make this a little bit longer so you've got your template that you can keep looking at and it's just a case of working working the shape in now you can have a really big tail or a smaller one it's totally up to you if you want it bigger, you can literally put your hands like this and just elongate it like this. Okay? I've got a little air bubble there. I don't usually get those. Typical. When I need it to be perfect. Okay, so make it nice and smooth. It's like stroking it out. You don't want any ridges. And then you just put yourself a little curl in it. Okay, so this is just a quick template to show you where you're going. Now, we want to put a bit of a spine in here. So what I do is, I'm going to push up. You see what I've done there? With my palms and create that spine. Now you could really create quite a defined spine if you want to, or just a little bit of the shape. I quite like it like that, because then when you put the notches in, it looks quite cool. Okay, let's just over accentuate it today. And then we can see which one we prefer. So that's kind of the shape we want to start, isn't it? Okay. Now you can see on here as well that I've got where the leg should be, where you should put the groove in, which should be here. Now, I love to use my fingers and my hands as tools rather than grab a tool. But if you want to grab a tool, you can. 
you could grab the knife tool, which is a plastic knife tool, and I like this fat bit here at the base that I use, and you could run that along like that. Or you could just use the side of your thumb, which has got a really nice curve in it. And then again, on this side. Oh, I think I should turn the volume down on this. That's it. So then you've got the grooves for where his leg is basically going to go. And then I kind of liked another one in there just because he's a bit chunky. Yeah. So turn it over. You can do the same thing on this side. You want to try not to ruin the lines you've created, the indent you've created on the other side. So just be careful of that and kind of make sure you're in the right place. I am not in the right place. Okay. So you could always look from the top, put a little pinch in, pinch in there, turn it over, and then you know where you are. Okay. Just try, if you're doing one side and then the other, try not to put a lot of pressure when it's on your hand. I'm actually just sitting it in the palm of my hand. And always use the palm because if you put things on the finger and push any weight on it, you get ridges from your fingers. Okay. Once you've done that, you can just go back in, get rid of any ridges you don't like, play with it a little bit more. You'll notice now, if you're doing it, that it's gonna start setting a little bit on you. So this paste is kind of cool. It works in a different way. It kind of sets more than it does, you know, like dries out, but that's kind of where we're at right now, okay? So it means that you have a lot longer to play with it before it starts um, cracking or anything like that, okay? So we can put a few little lines in there as well. So what you can use is a dress thin tool or the back of a plastic knife tool, whichever you prefer. And I'm just gonna put just a bit more of a line in there like that, okay? And then I'm gonna make some lines across his tail as well. Hi Preenie, lovely to see you. Well, I can't see you, but lovely to have you here. Um, and then I'm just going to put some lines on the back of his tail as well. I'll just get a bit line happy because I think it looks cute. He looks all chunky and roly poly ish. You can make a bit more of a line on there and there if you want to. Now, what you want to do is smooth them afterwards, okay? Where else did I do one? Oh, I did one here. Because you don't want like deep ridges. You just want them to kind of see like that. It's gone like a deep ridge. Okay, I'll show you how to get out of that. Just grab the side of your finger and smooth it in. It's more um, like folds in the skin rather than like these deep ridges, okay? So just something like that for now is absolutely fine. Just a little bit in the tail there, you can see a bit better, okay? So again, it is quite indented. You could use your finger and run them out a little bit. If this is flopping, because you've got quite hot hands and it's very soft, just play with it again afterwards and bring it back up, depending on however you like it. Hi Heather, lovely to have you here, darling. I'm glad you joined. So. Then we're going to just put in our little holes along the top. So what you need for that is a ball tool. Okay, so you can use a bigger side or a smaller side, depending on how big you want the notches. I kind of liked it going bigger and bigger as you go up. But I think I did. I've done five, haven't I? So you can use the small one in the top, which is where the bigger one would be, like this. And what I do is I go round and round. You can pop that one out afterwards if you want, or you can just keep going round and round with the same tool. I've gone bigger spikes this time. Okay, can you see what I'm doing there? So do them whatever size you want, but I've kind of, I have made them bigger on this one than they are on that one. 
Okay. Now you can do some cool little details and just create a bit of a groove around it like that if you want to. Just see with the side of your tool, just to make a bit more of an extra groove. Yeah. You need to see like that. Just to make it stick out a little bit more. I'm using the flat side of my dressing tool, but just making it come up a bit like that. That's just a bit of extra added detail. Just make sure you go back in and make sure these are round after you've been playing with them. You can keep them round, it looks cuter. Okay. Something like that. I'm going a little bit more over the top today, which is better because I think you can see it then. So, right, so that's basically the start of the body, okay, which is pretty easy enough. I say, and you're thinking, no, it isn't. Just take, honestly, just um, just take your time and just play with it. You'll, you'll get there. Um, so what we're going to work on now is the legs. So... You've got two balls for the legs, okay? So I'm going to mix them up again, a little bit of tricks. So that's that one mixed up, and then I'm going to roll it into a ball. Oh, got far too much tricks on my hands there. I use it to roll, pull this one out. Now, little tip is. If you've ever weighed every, everything all up or if you're going to use paste, always, always, always pull it out like this. Um, people always say you get air bubbles. Don't worry about that. Although I've just proved to you that you can't, that does happen. It's very rare that happens, okay? So it's worth doing because otherwise you can't get all your cracks out of the paste. Always, even if you think it's soft, pull it out or about three times it's minimum, okay? You don't have to well three four times is enough okay so you push down hard to get your creases out and then you buff it to get the ball okay now this is a bit of an odd shape to make and i, I was looking earlier at trying to show you easier ways to create it um and it's, it's a bit of a hard one to show you so it's really just a whenever you get to this point if you're not making this today Watch it and do it with me, okay? So I'm gonna do it twice. When you do it, you can do it with me. Um, so it's a ball. It's a very weird, dodgy shape, okay? So it's this one here, okay? So it's basically, and every time I do it, I'm a bit like, oh God, is this right? It looks a bit weird. So just bear with me, okay? So it's a ball, you're gonna go, put your hand over it. So I'm really just using my finger, really, okay? And this here is your foot, all right? So what you do is pinch and bring out your foot. This is actually the start of how I would make a Wellington boot, okay? <laughs> it's very weird, so just work with me, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a bit of a bend here, okay? So it's like a bend in the knee like this i mean to me it doesn't even look right as i do it so just yeah so whatever you're feeling don't worry i'm feeling it with you okay so that weirdness and then you literally just kind of pat it okay so that is going on there does it and then you kind of move the foot <laughs> i know it feels a bit it looks a bit dodgy doesn't it so I'll show you from there, it's kind of like this, yeah? So what I do is when I put it on the table is I actually just push around the sides here. You want a lot of the fatness at the top, so you just push round, okay? It's gonna make more sense in a minute. Can you see? There is method to the madness. Now this, you could even bring it out, finger and thumb, Okay, and then that will go on even easier. All right, let's do it again. It's like I've forgotten how to do it. 
Just having a quick look. Terry, yes, get Paula Barras on. I haven't seen her in ages. Hi, Natty. Yep, yeah, no worries. You can rewatch. Don't you worry. You can rewatch. And it's going back on, um, I think you may have been on Christina's uh, Cake Studio. We'll be going back on there afterwards. Actually, let me just tell you because um, I don't want you to get all confused. I've done this one on my um, Facebook main Facebook page as a one-off. They will be in um, Christina's Cake Studio from now, okay? So if you always go there to watch the monthlies, that is where they shall be. So don't worry, my love, you will still be able to watch it and catch up, it's no problem. We're doing some weird dodgy foot thing right now. So we've got the ball, so the finger across, backwards and forwards. Actually, let me show you something. If you make sure you put your finger in the same place as last time, usually you can get the same size. So wherever you put it last time, do it again and I'm in the same place, aren't I? And you can constantly look to check you've got a similar size foot. Okay, so I'm gonna stop there and make sure the foot is that side before, size before I do anything else, okay? And then I can always elongate it but it needs to be the same size. These are a bit bigger than my ones, to be honest, but it's fine, okay? Then we're gonna do this weird knee thing like this. It's just like bending the knee, isn't it? I don't know what I'm making it into a big deal, aren't I? A little bit of a tip there, okay? We pop it down and then we push down that one side or that would be this side wouldn't it so this one would go on there foot out yeah and this one is going to go on this side. I've made this like a month ago so I'm a bit like making it up as I go along just so you know people yeah and then you turn the little feet out okay so once we've kind of got that and I just pulled it all out like this, Natty, just so you can see, darling. Okay, so we just pulled it out like this. Right, so I'm gonna keep it like that so I know where I am. Make the bottom face me. Always got a bottom in my face. Oh my God, that sounds awful, doesn't it? My son has got a thing about always putting his bottom in my, it drives me mad, boys. Why are boys and just, they love bums, don't they? Everything's bums and poo-poos and, oh, it's very annoying. Right, stop, Christina, you have a child break tonight. Don't talk about them. Right, okay, so we need to put the little bit of the foot bit in, okay? So the little toes. So, honestly, I kind of just went for this last time. I'm gonna do a bit of a line this way. Can you see I'm using my knife tool? Okay, all I did was dig it like this, and then I'm gonna go that way, pop it in there. So when you do it, what you wanna do is make sure you go in there, in that crease. Bring it round, pop it in. I'm getting really hot now, I wish I've got the fan in here. Oh, looks better than last time. Okay, looks a bit weird, doesn't it? But then we're gonna grab our, Ball tool. I'm going to use a slightly smaller one this time and I'm just going to go at the top and just you see what I'm doing there make little holes for us to put our little toenail things in okay and then just make sure you've got that separation now that's quite over exaggerating again it wasn't like that before as you can see but it's up to you. I thought I'd over exaggerate everything today for the purpose of you guys seeing it. Right, I'm gonna rush through that again. So we're just gonna go like this. Okay. And then separate the three, like I guess they're like toes. Don't worry about all that being perfect so much. Okay, because I'm just gonna put loads of little, little lines on him and stuff now. Right, so let's attach this before it starts getting 
um, starts setting on me because that's a bit of a nightmare. So let me show you that side. Okay, so his foot's going to go like this. So what I love about this pace is you can blend. It is absolutely fabulous. So you need a little bit of water. Should have checked that work before I started, shouldn't I? Add a little bit of water in. Just got my water pen. And you can actually just blend this in. Okay. Now you could stick it on and not blend in. But I want to show you how to do it. This is how good this paste is. A little bit of treks on your finger. And I'm going to grab the dress and tool. Okay. And I'm using the bigger side and you literally just blend in. This is what I really liked about doing this dinosaur. Was I felt like I was more sculpting, you know. You see, get rid of all them. Rather than just sticking pieces on. That's what I kind of liked about doing this one. So I'll show you in there. Now if you're struggling and it's not blending, you just add a tiny bit more water. I think this paste must have some cocoa content in it because it really helps you to blend it in. But what you need to do is have the bits that are blending need to be ultra fine so you can tear at them to create a really fine edge to it um, if not you can almost scratch it in with like a knife tool on the side and then that will do it as well so we're going to put a few grooves in here because again I want them to look all like you know like little bubbies are all chunky aren't they see the little baby dinosaur has got to be chunky so I'm just going to use the back of the dressing tool to make a mark in there um, I've also got some other lines down here, so I'm going to go back to the knife tool and the lines that we've got are like the creases in his foot, so that would be like the back of the knee, okay? That's like where the ankle is. So then a couple of little lines there, a couple of little dinks here. Now, be careful with these lines. The way they are, they're supposed to like kind of spread out a little bit like that. So you can always look at your arm and just start looking at the way your arm creases and where you get a crease. So, kind of that look. If you want another one, because he's got chunky legs, you kind of do it like that, okay? So that's kind of the chunky look you want to go for. So I'm gonna do it again on the other side. So a little bit of water. Just pull this out again. Now if you want to, you can always just stick it on there, okay? But of course you're gonna have the seams. So it's, a, it's totally up to you how you wanna try and do it or how you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable with the blending, it's absolutely fine, you don't have to. But it's actually a lot easier than you think, can you see? So a lot of people think they just have to use modelling chocolate to blend. You don't have to. I mean, if you're doing serious blending, yes. But for something like this, it doesn't really matter if it's perfect because he's like a little dinosaur, it's fine. Okay. The thing is with modelling chocolate, I find it's quite shiny. I don't really like the shininess of it. I have wondered if I'd get a bit and just add a little bit more into this, if I'd quite like that medium. I will give it a go at some point. Okay, so just go in there. Linda Saracina modeling has cocoa butter in it. That's why it's so good and smooth. Ah, oh, it firms up quickly. See, it's the cocoa butter. Do you know what it is? I was on a class the other day with the lovely Sarah from Cupcake Oven. 
and she was telling me about the cocoa in it and she was like oh i wonder what's in it and i was like no don't tell me i just like to think i'm sad and i i just like to think it's magic so yeah yeah i'm sad okay i get it uh to me it's magic but that's the reason why i should just find out for you guys because i know some people like to know okay so it's that kind of thing and then we're going to pop in our little lines again so it's like the line of three the three is quite nice move my thumb out of the way and then maybe here where the ankle should be like this and then you can turn the foot out more okay and then i think i'll do keep getting my hands in the way there don't i so maybe like one up here again So you, for this, you can look at the picture as well that you've got and uh, see where I've done the, the lines. I'm going to bring a bit more of a line up there. Oh, went a bit nuts there. Okay. He looks quite cute. Lovely. Okay. These have all bent out of shape a little bit now. I'll just go in again. It's not a problem. Just keep being aware that sometimes they will move and then his tail's gone a bit limp, bless him. I'm going to push his bum up as well, it looks a bit. He's got a big butt. That's fine, I'll just squash the feet in a little bit more. Okay. Does anybody have any questions as I go? You're really great, Go let me know green what colors everybody else doing him today or when you make him what's been like your favorite color that you've seen so far like the green the pink or the um like the light brown i felt like i was playing it a bit safe with him but to be honest i do still absolutely love him i i, I kind of like safe colors so remember one two three four boom this is the arms now so we've got two of these we need to be having two of these and they're proper diddy as well, aren't they, his little arms? Okay, three. Just remember, you might want to do these on like the little jewellery scales because you'll, you'll get the, the difference between a gram when you're doing small amounts is quite large. So just, just bear that in mind. Okay, we're going to do the little hands. And that is all we're going to do is put your finger halfway across the ball and just go backwards and forwards. Okay, in the same spot. That's literally it. Okay, so remember what I was saying about thinking, remembering where you put the finger. I mean, if it's not right, just pull it. Yeah, that's fine now. Little tap at the end where the hand is. Okay, so if you always have to do two or something, can you remember where you put your finger? You'll be fine. So. We put it exactly halfway across the ball, didn't we? Like, the, made it like a half moon. And I keep it in the same place, go backwards and forwards. This bit goes a bit bigger then, and that's quite nice, because it's like his, his little arm socket, okay? So they are absolutely fine, that size. Would do them in green, would you? Okay, I think I'm gonna do the blue tones. Oh, lovely. Which end did I flatten for the foot? Well, that's a little bit of a difficult one. So it's this end. So you put your finger across, you roll the ball, you come out, you do the leg, and then you flatten the other side. Yeah? Definitely give it a little watch back, Rhonda. Look it over it a few times and um, make it with me. That's the best way to do this. So you've got this to, you've got this to refer to because, you know, with modeling, it's just about learning our shapes, isn't it? So for the hand, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Oh, God, put a little hole in it then. Little hole. Right, there we go. So exactly the same thing as we did before. Let me go up here, you get a better look. Okay. Roll round, and we're going to do some little tiny fingers. Okay, you can just push it down a little bit afterwards because it separates it a little bit too much. And then you want 
you're going to do two lines so you have three little sections okay just like that every time i do that i know somebody's going just like that she says <laughs> i can hear you whoever said it i can hear you okay <laughs> and then your little holes it's looking quite cute now isn't it although the dusting is always 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 my favorite part so everybody was on the green then oh so everyone does like the green and blue tones this is good any more people let me know what you like i'd like to get a good idea what everybody likes okay i've got people looking through my window now because i've got all the windows open and they can just see all these cameras and then they just stand there and watch me it's very embarrassing it's not embarrassing i might just give them a little wave <laughs> then they'll stop okay yeah pop this in twist twist i've moved my position in the cake studio now because when i sit and i can see the front door it becomes a, like a really annoying thing when a delivery man comes because they just a delivery person they just keep waving at me i'm like okay yeah can you leave it there and then they just keep waving like why am i moving <laughs> it's very annoying so what do you think of them cute margaret no worries you're late darling lovely to have you here oh lovely hello sarah that's okay you can all come on late you can watch it later Right, let's put a little bit of grooves in the arms here. So, like that. I don't know why, I just did a little sound effect. But um, yeah, I think it looked cute with a few little grooves, just like that. I don't know why I did one there, but I kind of like it. All right, so that's that side. And then you want to do it again on this side here. They look quite long his arms but it'll be fine so that's kind of the gist okay face time actually let's put these on okay so a little bit of water oh no water in there these pens like only work when you know And they feel like it sometimes. Little bit on the side, little bit there. Okay, the best way to stick any limbs on is whack a lot of water on and just use your fingers and make it really sticky and tacky. Okay, just like that. And it goes really gloopy. I mean, you can't see, I'm gonna try and show you. It's actually quite disgusting. When it looks, oh, do you know what? You think I know where the camera is by now. Do you see it? It's like all the sugar comes out. It's sticky and horrible. That's when you want to stick it down, okay? So you're just going to pop the arm on then. And we can, if you want to, did I blend that arm? I did blend that arm. Let's pinch this up. Oh, yeah, that'll do. And we can stick that on like that. Okay. I'll show you on the other side as well. All right, and then use the back of the dress and tool and just smooth that in. Okay. So you can see, it's just like that. And then I'm gonna stick the other one on here. Just gonna pinch a tiny amount just to help me blend like that, okay? 
Oh, and if you get stuck to it, just put a few bits of tracks on your fingers. A little bit of water again. And I'll just blend. Like this. That side's slightly better. He's kept like um the round bit. I took I peeled a bit less off. Okay. A little bit more tracks on my fingers, smooth all that in. No worries, Linda. It's lovely to have you here. You've all been out enjoying this lovely weather, haven't you? There you go. Okay, right, looks a bit weird. Now you can stick that more to his body if you don't want it to move. That is not a problem. Okay, you can just add a little bit of water there, make it a little bit more tacky. Do you know what? It's probably a better idea to do that, boys. It's just going to keep moving, isn't it? Okay, so that's a bit better. So make all the areas tacky. I don't use sugar glue because I just think people expect it to stick. I mean, we've got sugar and we've got water. What well, I don't get the need for glue really, okay? I end up just feeling like I get stuck to everything. I'm a hater of um, corn flour and sugar glue, so just so you know. All right, so I think we've done pretty well, I say. We've already been at it 50 minutes. Okie dokie. Okay, how's everyone getting on? Is anybody making Milo with me? Rhonda, are you keeping up, my love? Let me know. Let's do the head. A little bit more tricky now, but by now you've kind of got a hang of doing your shapes and things like that. So let's give it a go. So you need to weigh out. Um, for your head and the face, the front part of the face, it's like two sections. Here's some I made earlier. Always wanted to say that when I was a kid. Finally. Right, it's good to have um, a little bit of green on the side as well. So, you know, I've given you those weights, but you need to have a little bit on the side. You can either take it off a bit of the head or I've got a bit of a spare one here, okay? You do want quite a big head because the big head is basically letting everybody know that it's a child, like a baby, because they have a lot bigger heads than their bodies, okay? And um, when you do that, it just um, makes sure, make sure models look a lot cuter, okay? Let's pull this out, and like this. nice ball again and then it's kind of like a bit of an egg shape okay like that sort of thing just somewhere like that okay ish and then we can do the front part of his little face now again you know what I'm like I do make this up a little bit as I go so ball see it doesn't matter how long you do it even sometimes when I get to this bit I go oh a bit nervous and then you just have to like trust yourself and follow the shapes and the process okay um, so I'm pushing down around okay so what that's doing is creating um, the, the back of the face is going to be a bit flatter it's just going to make it easier if I put it on like that, it's gonna be very hard to mold, but can you see if it goes on like that? It's just a tad easier. I'm kinda of just gonna go for it. Now, whenever you do anything like this and put like the muzzles on afterwards, whatever they're called, muzzles, like if you're doing like a dog or I don't know, like a rabbit or anything, you just kind of gotta go for it. It feels a bit weird, um, it looks a bit dodge, but you just kind of have to trust yourself, okay? So, I'm just, gonna push it into the pace. Now, I probably could have rolled that shape without doing this. If you feel more comfortable to do that, then definitely do it. Um, but I thought this way, it's kind of easier to show you and then maybe get more of the proportions right. So I just smoothed it out, didn't I? 
and then I'm going to add some water like we've been doing back of the Dresden tool or the side of the plastic knife tool don't run out and buy loads of new things use what you got firm believer of that okay now if you're having troubles getting it to rub in you can always scratch it in when you scratch it it does look a bit looks a bit better okay i'm gonna go over it because you're not gonna see it really so if i was to do this again okay i would um make around the edges thinner do you know how i've been showing you with the other bits if it's really thin around the edge it's really easy to blend it i put it on a little bit too fat so learn from my mistake it's not a big issue i can still get it out you won't see it but it just it means i'm working on it longer than i'd probably want to okay so all right his eyes gonna go there as well so it's not a big deal so we've kind of we're at that stage right now aren't we so the eyes are going in there now for the other one I kind of made a mark where I wanted it to go you don't have to do that you can stick paste straight over the top so I'm going to show you how I made the mark um, and then you can make a choice of what you like the look of and how you want to do it I actually made for um for this dude here I made the mark of the eyes for Milo and then put paste over the top so you can do it both ways but let me show you how I did it and you can choose if you don't like this and you think you're not going to line it up properly then um, then you can um, just put the paste straight over the top really so what I did is just kind of use my rubber tip tool and worked out kind of where his eyes would go Okay, so that's the bottom and then I did I put in like a socket like a sleepy eye groove now the reason why I wouldn't recommend you do it this way if you're quite new to modeling is sometimes it's really hard to line things up so they're the same either side it's not so bad when you're putting a bit of paste on the top when you're trying to work it out like this it's quite difficult I was trying to explain to somebody the other day that you know most of us in our day-to-day -day, whatever we do don't have to look at things and line it up so it takes quite a while for your brain to kind of get it if you know what I mean and you might think oh yeah that'd be simple I'll do that but actually people find it very difficult so bear with yourself it was something I found quite difficult at the beginning now I just like that because I kind of like the socket okay I like to put bit of paste in the socket you could always grab yourself a ball tool and go in like that if you like the socket and then kind of square up the bottom okay but what you can also so I actually look if your finger actually is the size again it's really good idea to learn to use your fingers I'm gonna put a little bit in there so you don't actually have to do that okay so if you're not very good at lining things up forget about it don't even worry about it what you'll do is grab your extra bit of green that you've got if you haven't and you've got all this way and you've got no extra no one would know if you took a sliver off of that and no one would know if you took a sliver off of down here okay little tricks to get yourself out of situations Paul this is for his eyelids now drop it little tap down okay and then what we do is we just cut it cut it with a craft knife okay and then you've got yourself your two eyelids haven't you okay I think that's a bit long so I'm just going to put the sides in now to pick it up you go underneath and then stab it and then you've got hold of it and then you can pop it on like that okay 
Now, you could have just done this from the off. Two of these, whack it on, don't even worry about it. You don't even need to have the indents. So it's totally up to you, okay? Or you could always stick them on and then go around them afterwards and create an indent that way. Totally up to you what look you prefer. So these ones are more stuck on. These ones were just stuck on. And then his, oh gosh, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I'll show you that way again. His were done this way, the way I'm doing it now. I'm just breaking everything now, okay? So totally up to you what you prefer. You can spend quite a long time on the eyes, playing them with them, getting them just right, or you can just chuck them on and go for it, okay? When I first made him, I sat there for ages. I just got on one. I just felt inspired that day to go for it. Okay, so sleepy eyes. So you want to bring the eyelid down. Okay, push it down. And then go underneath it with the knife, with the rubber tool, and then you can lift up like that. You get a little bit of a, like where an eyelash would be or something. It's quite a nice bit there. Now, you probably do this with the Dresden tool as well. Yep, no worries. I've just got used to using the rubber tip tool for that. Okay, you wanna push this bit back up again. Yeah, and make sure the egg shape's back in, because I like that little egg shape. Oh, Tiffany coloured Saracino, that would look lovely. Oh, why didn't nobody tell me this earlier? That would have looked very good. Okay, so just play with the head, have it however you like. It doesn't matter how many times you make this model, every time you do it, it will be different. Every time I've done it, it's different, okay? So just go with it. So, he looks quite cute, doesn't he? Where's that so I can see where we're going? Right, you could do a couple little lines if you wanted. You wanted to add a little bit more, like a fold. He hasn't got that there, but I told you I was going to go a little bit more over the top today. Just so I can show you a bit more. Okay, so I'm just using the flat part of the dressing tool, and it's like creating a like a baggy fold across his top of his eyelid okay and then I'm just gonna roll that out now we need to put the nostrils in don't we so you can put them in with your finger first to guide you so you know where you're going okay you don't want to get them in the wrong place and then you're going to use a ball tool and you're going to go up in and up okay in and up. You've probably done this quite a lot if you did like farm animals or anything like that. Again, if you wanted to put extra detail, you can make a little bit of a ridge on the top of the nostril using a Dresden tool. And then go up again. It might look a bit more scarier that way, but we'll see. If you're starting out, just keep it simple. You don't have to do all these bits. So these are like nice options. If you're doing this just to sit and play and practice, it's, it's great to try, try and use them doing the extra bits. If you're in a hurry and you wanna make it for a topper, you can just keep it really simple, okay? Right, now, just thinking where this goes, we need to do the mouth bit underneath because he's kind of smiling, isn't he? So you're literally gonna take your knife tool. This is a bit where you're like, ah, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm just going to cut in like that up to here. Okay. And then I'm going to create that smile. So I'm just using, you can use this again if you wanted to. Bring it up a little bit and then cut in again. But just to quickly lift it, I just used my knife there okay 
go all the way around again now be careful because you don't want to change the shape the other thing as well is I've got this in my hand and um, if you've got very hot hands it's going to really heat it up which you don't want to do because it's just never going to set so what you can do is you can keep it down on the table check where the mouth is and then you could literally like come up this way okay keep keep checking all right so i just went in deep like that and then used the tip it was a lot easier to lift you can use one of these afterwards if you want to make it a bit more smiley i'm going to bring that down a bit actually okay and then cut in all right keep it a little bit simple and then we're going to pop his head on right it's got quite warm at the back so what I did for this one is as I actually quite like the look of the mouth coming back a little bit further here so you can just push it in so this bit comes out more like that and then push it just small movements now this bit I can use it's gone really soft but I'm just going to use that to blend it's very very warm in here so his head's going to go on I think I shall show you like this so his head's gone on but I want it at a bit of an angle something like that is absolutely fine let's have a look yeah and then at the back, you can just squash it in. So let me show you. Yeah. Oh, this is a bit sticky. A little bit more water. Oh, we're here again, aren't we? The water situation. A bit of water there. You can even grab that. Stick it on like that. So... I'm going to forget the front for a second and just work on this back bit here. I'm just scratching it in again. Okay, so the head would be turned, wouldn't it, like that? So you wouldn't really have any grooves in there because the, the head's stretching in the other direction. What you could do just pop it on there a bit more and then turn him round like this and then I'm going to grab a bit more bring it down the back and then here you could just get your tool in there and mould it on it was actually quite good that it was that hot at the back because it's just molded in really well so i'm just using the dress and tool for that the larger side a little bit more water okay oh well, he's a bit cute in me see it doesn't matter how many times i make them i just love them i actually like a little bit of a more of a ridge in here So put one in there. Okay. He's looking quite cute, isn't he? Looking all sleepy. Anybody have any questions at this point? No problem, Deb. Lovely to see you here. His face is looking sweet. He's looking good. Do you know what? I, I was nervous as I was doing it. I'm always like it. So if you feel that way, don't honestly, don't worry yourselves. It's, it's completely normal. I'm just going to push his head back a little bit more like that. Okay. And then I actually prefer his face up a little bit more, a bit more eggy shaped. Okay. Oh, I've been going ages, haven't I? Fun bit. We're dusting. We're dusting. So I dust before I put the other little bits bit kitchen towel um 
it's best not to dust on boards because you will like when you know where all the ridges are where it scratches and you put the dusting powder on it can um get in the grooves so if you're gonna like i am because i'm naughty i like to live on the wild side um just cover it with kitchen towel and if you want to get it out of your grooves don't sit there with a washing up brush and washing up liquid and get it out it doesn't work you just need a tiny bit of trex a little bit of trex on the kitchen towel and then you can rub it out and it just lifts out straight away it's awesome right so we've got some dusting brushes um i've got these flat brushes only because these are my old ones and i haven't gone to these yet these are um, immaculate confections natalie porter's ones absolutely love them um the soft rounded bristles at the top is so much better for um dusting and not getting any like little patches you know if you use these ones it can become quite patchy so go with that now for milo sorry bum in the face it's like my child right so for milo um i've literally just used one color which i'm probably going to use one color for him actually maybe a bit brown um and i use nutmeg this nutmeg splash one which i quite like that one that's all i've used for him and actually and a little bit of pink just for like the cheeks and stuff like that. So, and I've actually put a little bit of pink here where his little body would be. So he looks like he's all warming and stuff. So we can do that as well. Not sure how well the pink will go on the green, but we can all work it out and have a little look together. So I'm gonna go straight in. I have got, where is it? Let's have a look what this looks like, the pink. Oh, oh, right. So, you want the bristles of the brush to be, you want, sorry, you want the dusting colours to be very much inside your bristles rather than on the top of them. So, you have to really work the dusting colours. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit on. The face there as well otherwise it just is just too much okay I think we need to cut into here a little bit more as well okay so a little bit of dusting like that and then a little bit on the body here he's sleeping he's got a warm he's feeling a bit flushed got to get into character I might not like that in a minute, we'll see. Might end up taking it off. Okay, and then I'm gonna use, because I just saw it and I've got it and it's in the cupboard and I've never used it before. Don't ask me what the date is on it. Everyone's <laughs> eating this, okay. Blue grass, quite like the look of this color. Like a greeny blue. Looks pretty cool. Looks like my, my new wall colour. Yeah? So, don't lift him because obviously right now he's a little bit fragile. This tail, I don't like where it is. It's going to go up. Okay. So, you want to dust, take off all the little bits. Okay. And you want to just take more off. Dust all your little grooves. Okay. So dust in from the creases of your grooves. Now, where you want to dust is you will need to think about shadow. Okay, so I know underneath there, underneath him, there's going to be quite a lot of shadow, isn't there? So I have got on my page me dusting the pink one as well, if you wanted to see that. And I've used the different colours for that one. So under here would be darker. And what we want to do is come from the bottom every single time and brush up okay you really do have to be careful when you're using quite dark colors on these light colors because it can go a bit blotchy and you don't want that to happen okay so in the grooves always like for here you go around the edge and then you do strokes down Now, you don't have to dust a lot. You could just like emphasize the little grooves 
I might not dip in there again for a while because I think I want it lighter. Okay, so top of the tail. It's very warm in here, it keeps falling down. You could make the tip of the tail even slightly darker if you wanted. So it's the long brush strokes every single time. Can you see I go from the tip and I go down? or I go in the corners. It's the longer brush strokes that make the color fade, okay? If you do like very short brush strokes in the same area, you build up a lot of color and you can build up like quite a line rather than a blend, okay? So long brush strokes. Here's a bit like a teal color, isn't it? I like it. Um, but I really don't want to put blotches on. What you can do to, when, to make sure you're not putting blotches on anywhere, which I've put a little bit on there, is you can mix your colour with a little bit of cornflour and that will help to blend the colours more. Because this is such a light um, paste, the cornflour will work really well on just, oh I told you I hated that earlier, didn't I? That's the only time I use it. And a tiny bit for a little bit of, uh, for when you're rolling out your fondant for covering cakes. So a little bit on there. And you know, if you've got quite a bulky bit of color here that you don't like, you can just whack cornflour straight on and help you blend it, okay? You can only do that because this paste that we've got here is light, okay? If it was a darker paste, you wouldn't get away with it. So just add a little bit of color to the head and to your like, little eyelids. I think it looks better with just a little bit of colour. You also want to go into your nostrils. That one's slightly bigger than the other. I'm going to put it in and do a little twist. I'm so sad I get excited about these things, aren't I? Look. Little twist. Okay. A little bit of um, a little bit darker there because obviously there'd be a lot of um, shadow there, wouldn't there? Okay, so think about shadows around there in the neck. It would definitely be a lot darker in there, wouldn't it? Okay. So if you just think of this as shadows and emphasising areas, that's the best way to look at it. You can always get a smaller brush and go in as well if you want to, like around the eyes and stuff like that if you want to. Now here you could probably put a little bit more here because we are going to put paste in there and you might not see it as much. So I would maybe make this bit slightly more over the top here. I think I'm going to add a bit of brown. Oh, what size and shape brush? She's got a set of three, isn't she? This is, I think this is the larger one. Um, she actually only sells them in sets of three. Honestly, use which any one you like. So use the smaller one for the little areas, yeah? And um, the bigger one for the, obviously, the bigger areas. Now this is going, making it go a bit more um, rather like a bit of a bright green rather than the teal now so I'm not going to use a lot of this I just like to add a little bit of extra shade sometimes I'm going to use this more in the nose I think I might regret it in a minute if you do something that you really don't like you can get out of it okay you need to grab yourself like with this if you don't like the colors you can take it off, just grab yourself a, I've got these, I absolutely love these. I'm sorry if you watch me all the time and I go on about them, but I'm just like a massive wet wipe fan. <laughs> and these are like water wipes, 100% biodegradable from Aldi, love them. They're like, oh God, I don't even know, they're about 70p a packet and they're brilliant. So I've got no more guilt now and you can flush them down the loo. Um, they're great to use. What you can do is just wipe little areas off. I don't like, this brown just so you know don't like it I'm not using it anymore um, wipe off little areas and just make sure that it's completely dry 
um, and before you start dusting again and then you can go over it again. Uh, it will go a little bit shiny sometimes, but it's fine, especially if you're, you're dusting over it later. I don't like the eyelids I did, but I don't think I should be this precious. Okay, see how dark my eyelids are? You should always welcome mistakes because then it means I can show you how to get out of them. Okay, so you can just take off what you don't like. Okay, if I was to go over that now, it would just go on blotchy. Okay, so it's best to leave that to dry for a little while. So I could get a little brush. I haven't got one here because I've forgotten it. Um, but I could get like a little brush and go in there, just using the proper tip tool now improvising and make that area darker if I wanted to right because it's wet I'm kind of making a mess so I'm gonna leave it like that I might actually put just a tiny bit more on the tail just to jazz them up a little bit more on there I might make those areas darker do you know like where we're gonna put the um the little nails and stuff that might look cuter if they're darker and then keep the rest quite quite basic so you could draw a darker line in on the mouth if you wanted to but actually if you just make the um the crease quite deep you will notice you don't actually need to see like this crease for the mouth it's quite deep you don't really need to but you can get a dark a uh, smaller brush like um like a like a zero or something like that and just put a tiny bit in and just almost like paint it in if you wanted to so hi jenny lovely no worries all oh, these people that have to work like indoors and stuff although at least they would have had air con that would have been nice okay let's let's finish him off and make him look a little bit jazzy right let's move all this so i quite like the little bits of pink i think it does need it the little the little blush cheeks should add a little bit more if you want it actually probably adds a little bit more to his body here okay Quite like that and then on the other side you can add a bit of pink there as well can you see I've like, I broke that brush can you see that I've um I'm not dipping it anymore I'm just I'd rather stroke a few times yeah all right it looks kind of blushed now okay I'm gonna do what kind of am I doing cream cream little thingies and then i was going to do brown bits i don't really know i'm just making it up what do you think or brown here and so i've got white here and i've just added a tiny bit of cream in should i do cream here and then brown spots what does everyone think there's a delay, so I might have started by the time you tell me, actually. Let's have a look. Okay, so I'll just mix this up a little bit. It's quite tough. It tricks. So, all we're going to do is rip off a little ball. Honestly, do not worry too much. Roll yourself a ball. It looks proper cute like that little ball and then a little bit of a cone and you're just gonna whack it in there now if it's too move that tail little man okay if this is too small and you roll it too big just whack this in and make it a bit bigger don't stress yourself and re-roll it it's fine okay let's put a tiny bit of water in it all Sharon, it would look lovely. Which one though? Which version? Let's do cream. 
I think you, you mean the cream. So cream here, all the way down. There's this tiny little hole here. So a little bit of water in, pop that in. Okay. And then you can see from the side, it just sits in. You can actually just pinch the top like that. You can create like little curls if you want or keep it quite pointed or don't have to have it pointed at all. So whatever you prefer. So grab yourself a ball, roll it, and then just kind of work out which one it fits in. It's a bit small for that one, chuck it in that one. Okay. I'm all about wanting to do things with speed, me, so. And like I said, if it's too small, just make it a bit bigger. I think this is gonna have to be a bit bigger for this one. So you don't want it bulging out too much. You want it to sit within it. Can you see, you can see the rim all the way around that one. And you see that one there, you can't. It doesn't look as good. So it's just some things I like to spend more time on and little things like that I think make a difference. Okay, pop that in. Little pinch. So just make a bigger hole if you need to. So a little ball, bit of a cone, yeah. Pop it in. Oh, that's very small, that one, that can go down there. I'm not even sure you can see it. Cream, you like the cream? Good, I'm glad you like the cream. Pop it in. You're all very quiet. If you're happy with what I'm doing, give us a thumbs up or a heart or something. Let me know you're all there. I don't like that bit, it's a bit greeny. Um, if you notice, I keep like rolling it on my, on the top of my hand here. It's because there's green on the bottom, so I just find a different place to roll. Or I could just grab some wet wipes, but you know. It's all about speed. Okay, now I've got to do this even more round the edges. So I'm going to keep putting these in. I would love to see everybody's dinosaurs. I was thinking of doing a little competition, seeing as this is like in a two part thing. Um, if anyone's got, oh, I'm glad you love it. Good. Everybody else loving it? Give us a comment. Um, I thought I'd run a little competition to um, for anybody, anybody that's done a dinosaur before. Any old dinosaur pictures that you've done of a cake or this one that you do, pop it in, pop it on the um, comments, your pictures, and then I'll pick the best one for the next one for when we finish the cake and then you can win one of my online classes. I thought that might be a nice thing to do because I don't want people to just watch it. I want people to sit and actually make it and try and learn. So I thought if I offer an incentive, you all might do it. So it can be any dinosaur or you can make this dinosaur, any dinosaur cake we post pictures of it you can post it within this video here now or I'll put up another link tomorrow I thought that would be really cute to see what everybody else had done all right just trying to get them in now it's a bit of a nightmare isn't it all right should we do them a bit bigger on the feet oh that was a bit a little bit too chunky I've made a Jurassic Park one before, quite like that one. So I might start with get the ball rolling. If you've made any before, you can pop it up now. I'd love to see. Show off everyone your work. Let's have a look. You might want to lift him. Now these holes on some of them have come uh, where I put them in before have kind of closed up. You can just open them up again. If you just make this all in one go. Any questions, anybody? Pop 
something like that. I mean, you can spend ages on these making it perfect, but you just don't need to. I don't think anyone will look at these bits so much. You can just go in afterwards, make them similar sizes. I think that's a bit clawy. Might look a bit scary. Okay. Ah, he's cute. I like him. Little brown spots. That's him from the side. So. Oh, the big dinosaur. Did you like that one, Deb? Oh, I want to make a big one. You've done a steampunk dragon before. Oh, I've got to have a look at that. Oh, you've got to show me that one. That looks good. That sounds good. So, little spots. Cool. Okay. So any size ball, don't even worry. Now it's quite sticky. I'm just gonna put a little bit of like um, damp bristles there and pop, oh, I'm getting very hot now. I haven't got my fan on in here. Little ball, bit of Trex. Trex will lift it and I just pop it straight on like that. Okay, another smaller one. So you wanna go and freeze, smaller ball. Lift it with the Trex, it will stick because it's tacky there now. And then you should be able to release it. And then I just put them straight on like this. Do smaller ones. I'm gonna do a little set of three there and then maybe a small one down here. Slightly bigger. Getting stuck to it now. Oh God, can you imagine what it's gonna be like in August? A bit of water. Such a small amount it's just just the dampness of the water pen bristles okay just put a couple there another one down there mix it up a bit I don't worry about cutting out perfect circles you could do like a bit of a sausagey type pop down like the sausagey make it a little bit different do a massive one there I think Okay, mix it up. Well, we've done one at the front here, so we could just do one there. His little spots, and then underneath the eye. Now, if you want to keep it the same colour, we could just use this, or you could use like a pen and just paint across the bottom of the eye like that. I'm not sure I like that. Let's have a look, actually, that's fine. Okay. Or you can grab this and do yourself like a little tapered end. So I call it like a little tadpole method. So you've got the little tapered end, make it thin, and then you could add it to the bottom like this. I think we'll just paint on today. Little this is just an edible food colour pen. I love the fractal ones, but I'm really struggling to get hold of them. It's a bit of a nightmare. There you go. It's nice and easy. Eyebrow? Don't forget your eyebrows. Okay. So you want to drop them down a bit because he's sleepy. Okay. And again, if you get these done in the wrong place, Literally, a little bit of wet wipe, take it off, wait a while, and then, oh, we need some spots on the head, don't we? Yes, we do. A couple of spots on the head. And he looks quite cute. I still don't know which one I prefer, though. Okay. There we are, little cutie. I'm gonna do a little bit of a spot around the back. Maybe a bit more sausagey. I've got right. I've got into a right mess now, haven't I? Okay, I like him. Oh, I did do it in an hour and thirty minutes. Check me. Didn't think I could do it in that time. 
Okay, let me show you him. He's proper cute, actually. Look at him. I would love to see someone turn him into a dragon. Let's look at the dragons now. Now I want to make a dragon. Um, but I do think you could follow this same method and then add wings and whatever and create yourself a dragon. Sorry, I'm terrible for sticking things on. But here he is. Let's have a look. Oh, what's his name? Somebody needs to name him for me. So that's Milo. And then when I did the other one the other day, somebody, I've got her name now. She was lovely. She watched all the way through with me. She supported me. This is Jinx. Love that name. It's brilliant. So who's got a name for my little green dinosaur now? Beautiful. Oh, you like him? Pete's dragon. Vanilla Valley have fractal pens, Nicola. Are, are they in stock though? Because everywhere I go, it's out of stock, which is driving me mad. mad. Yeah, because they all sell them, but it's the, um, so the colors I want is the black and the white, and that's why I'm having trouble. And everywhere I go on, it just says sold out, sold out. I think everyone's just gone fractal crazy. So yes. So this is our little dinosaur for today. I would, Elliot, done. He's so an Elliot. Brilliant. Love it. So we've got Milo, Elliot, and Jinx, and I'm going to stop making little dinosaurs now. I think I think I need to play with something else. Now it's your turn to all play with and make dinosaurs. Enzo. Oh, Enzo's good, but now... I've already chose Elliot now. Oh, Enzo or Elliot... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, oh, Enzo. It's gonna have to be Enzo. Sorry. Sorry, Preeny. It's gonna be Enzo. Because we're keeping it short. Milo, Enzo, and Jinx. Oh, I love that. That is fabulous. You have to name all your models. You've got to. Then I mean, you can be as crazy as me. <laughs> so, so basically, I would love to see, please, 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 can anybody, everybody make a dinosaur? It's got so many really good skills for you to, to help you with your modeling, using the different parts of your hands, creating all the different shapes. Honestly, it will really help getting all like your smooth edges, your blending. He's simple to make. You've got the template and um, it really, really will help with your modeling skills a lot. These sort of things are great to make, especially if you want to go on and do people and stuff like that. They're really good. Um, I want to see your dinosaurs. So any dinosaur cake you've made, any this dinosaur, and pick a name and post it within this video or on a separate link that I put up over the next couple of days. Um, because, yes, I will pick a winner for the next demonstration night, which will be in July. How are we doing this right now? How is it, like, way through the summer? Um... And then you will win a online class. Donna, yes, it's fine. You can watch it back, no worries. It's gonna be on here for the next like 24 hours and then I'm gonna move it over to Christina's cake studio. I've got too many groups now, I need to downsize them. Um, ah, Jenny, you must have come on later. So the clouds, so the clouds, the stars, um, the cake covering and like the clouds at the bottom, I will be making in next month's demo. So I'm gonna be doing a demonstration every first Tuesday of the month. So it will be in there for you to watch basically. So in one month's time, I will do the others. I know it's a bit split, but I've just got so much that I don't think I'll be able to commit to anything more than that. So um, yeah, hope you've all liked it. But you're gonna see loads of stuff going on about um, the next lives that I've got going on. So this is part one. And then part two is next month. Does anybody have any questions before I go and then I leave you to it? Oh, I'm so glad you liked watching it, Nicola. Thank you. So pleased you're all here. Thank you so much for all tuning in. All right, wicked. I shall see you later. If you have any questions, just put it on the within the video and I shall get back to you.
Can't wait to do another face-to-face -face class. I know, I've actually got some more face-to-face -face class coming up very, very soon. Um, that will be going up as well within the next week or so. So it'll be lovely to see you. Masks off soon, masks off. I can't wait, it'll be great. All right then, I'm gonna go and eat my dinner. I'm starving. Hope you all have a lovely evening and I shall speak to you all soon.